President Biden left Israel after paying a wartime visit to the U.S. ally as it fights Hamas in the wake of the Palestinian terror group's brutal attacks. You can't look at what has happened here to your mothers, your fathers, your grandparents, sons, daughters, children, even babies, and not scream out for justice. Justice must be done. The president's trip was complicated by a massive explosion Tuesday at a Gaza hospital. Hamas blames an Israeli airstrike, but Israel strongly denies it, releasing videos and other information it claims shows it wasn't behind the deadly blast. Based on the information we've seen to date, it appears the result of an errant rocket fired by a terrorist group in Gaza. The hospital blast has further escalated tensions in the region. In Beirut, Lebanese security forces used tear gas and a water cannon on protesters near the U.S. Embassy. America is the, is the devil, the real devil, because he supported Israel. During his remarks, President Biden said he would ask Congress for an unprecedented support package for Israel's defense. He also announced one hundred million dollars in new U.S. funding for humanitarian assistance in both Gaza and the West Bank. The vast majority of Palestinians are not Hamas. Hamas does not represent the Palestinian people. Family members of Israelis kidnapped by Hamas made a plea to President Biden to help get their loved ones back. My uh, three grandchildren and my daughter-in-law are in Gaza. I want them back now. The president said he has no higher priority than the hostages' safe return. Tina Krause, CBS News, Tel Aviv.